Witness Mr. John Woods. He's a co-founder of Woods Peacock Engineering Consultants based in Alexandria, Virginia. Woods Peacock Engineering Consultants provides structural engineering and project management services. Mr. Woods is testifying on behalf of the American Council of Engineering Companies, which was founded in 1909 and has more than 5,300 firms throughout the country. Welcome. Madam Chair, Ranking Member Graves, and members of the committee, I appreciate the opportunity to testify before you today about small business participation in the federal procurement marketplace and specifically about the unique nature of architectural engineering or AE services procurements. In addition, I will address the composition of the engineering industry, why small specialized firms like my own compose the majority of this industry, how we view federal government policies and individual recommendations to enhance results to our firms and us, the taxpayers. Uh, my name is John Woods, and I'm a founder and principal of Woods Peacock Engineering Consultants, a 10-year-old consulting engineering firm located in Alexandria, Virginia. We are a small, service-disabled, veteran-owned firm with 16 employees, three of whom we have hired this past year. All of the members of our staff are committed to providing our clients structurally sound designs for various sized architectural building projects as well as work in the anti-terrorism force protection at home and around the world. Additional bio information is, was available in my written comments. My firm is an active member of the American Council of Engineering Companies the voice of, of the in America's engineering industry. Of the almost 6,000 member firms employing more than a half million engineers, architects, land surveyors, and other professionals, and responsible for more than $500 billion of private and public works, almost 70% of these firms are small businesses with less than 30 employees, many with less than 10. My 40 years of experience includes private and public sector projects, both domestic and international. I will discuss the issues of my participation in my firm and several current projects in a moment. Architectural and engineering firms provide services in a number of technical, separate or combinations of disciplines such as architecture, mechanical, electrical, civil, structural, etc. States require state-issued professional licenses for the individuals responsible for this technical or design-related work. In the Commonwealth of Virginia, 67% of the ownership of privately held professional services firms providing services must be held by individuals licensed in the Commonwealth in their respective disciplines, as well as for the requirement for the firm to be licensed to provide these services. The Code of Ethics for Licensed Professionals to retain our licenses require us to perform work only for which we are qualified based on education and experience. This is true in all states. Because of the state licensed majority ownership requirements in most states, privately held architectural and engineering firms are often localized, small, and specialized. Since the work is performed by individuals, the quality of services offered is independent of size. For the federal project, and in many state and local projects, the public user and taxpayer is the benefactor because architects, engineers are selected for work based on being the most qualified for the particular project or series of tasks, and then a fee negotiated as codified by the Brooks Act, Public Law 92582, for federal work. To its credit, Congress created the Small Business Competitive Demonstration Program 20 years ago with the goal of enabling federal agencies to facilitate greater participation opportunities for small businesses. By unrestricting competition for AE services, the program recognizes the composition of the interest industry, qualifications, emphasis, and the need for agencies to carefully plan contracts that small firms can perform. Let me share several of my firm's experiences when doing work. 
The good news is that on one of the three recently awarded GSA AE contracts using the Brooks Act selection for the new Maine Department of Homeland Security headquarters and the supporting facilities on the St. Elizabeth campus in southeast Washington, we are one of several small firms included on the winning design team. The construction contract for the adaptive reuse and restoration portion of the project has been estimated at nearly $300 million. The bad news is as a disabled veteran on firm and a desire to reach 